This coming Sunday is the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. I thought it was good that we have St. Bernard in our background because Friday was the feast of our patron, St. Bernard. But this coming Sunday, Saturday Night Vigil, it's the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, and Jesus continues to teach his disciples. We hear about another episode of Jesus teaching them in the Gospel, which is taken from John's account, chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. Let's take a listen. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. We are told that there were many. How many? Well, we don't know exactly how many, but we are told that there were many of Jesus' disciples who were listening and said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Do you find any of Jesus' sayings hard? Any of them difficult to follow? Which one or which ones come to mind? In Jesus' day, and in all times down to the present day, there have been followers who found a saying or a teaching or some of Jesus' words hard. In the midst of this group of followers, ones who are now leaving Jesus, he says to his 12 closest disciples, do you also want to leave? He was giving them freedom to leave if they wanted. Peter answers, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. On your journey of faith, are you someone who is thinking of leaving? Someone who finds the teachings hard? Or are you someone like Peter who says, to whom shall we go? That there is no other place to go, no other person to go to. Jesus always gives us freedom to be his followers. He does not force us. He does not coerce us. It is a free choice. Once we choose the path of discipleship, he will call us to deeper growth as his disciple. Do you experience this freedom? It might help you to embrace the choice of discipleship even more deeply if you know you have that freedom. So let the gospel fill your week. See you in church. For now, God bless.